evaluation in or a consultation, we figure out what's going on. There's several different scenarios that can, can be present. Sometimes we have to remove teeth and uh, prepare the site with a bone graft and maybe a membrane to regenerate the tissue before we put the implant in. Some people come in just missing a tooth and they're actually ready to go and you can just have them in to put the implant in. And then some people require additional bone grafting or sinus procedures, which is something we do all the time to try and prepare the, the area for an implant. And once we get to the implant procedure, what we do is we put the implant in, we let it hear, heal for a period of time, and then we test it with a, an instrument to make sure it's fused to the jawbone. Once we're assured that it's fused to the jawbone, we'll send them back to the restoring doctor, and they'll do either an optical or a, a conventional impression and send that information to the laboratory, or they'll make them an abutment that screws into the implant, and then a crown, which is what looks like the tooth part of it, gets glued or screwed onto the 